Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president made an important announcement about preventing Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon, traveled west to champion high-tech jobs in Louisville, and clean energy jobs in Salt Lake City, had some fun at the 137th Annual White House Easter Egg Bowl, and flew to Jamaica for a meeting with leaders of Caribbean nations. That's April 2nd to April 9th, or And it is deal. a good deal. A deal that meets our core objectives. On Thursday, the president broke news by announcing a historic understanding among the international community and Iran, a result of tireless international diplomacy. This deal, if fully implemented, cuts off every pathway that Iran has to develop a nuclear weapon and imposes the most intrusive inspections ever. This is a deal between Iran, the United States of America, and the major powers in the world. If Congress kills this deal, not based on expert analysis, and without offering any reasonable alternative, then it's the United States that will be blamed for the failure of diplomacy. The American people understand this. They understand instinctively the words of President Kennedy, who faced down the far greater threat of communism and said, let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. Then the president traveled to Louisville to visit Indatus, a high-growth, high-tech software company. Nice beards, too, by the way. <laughs> the company has joined the president's tech hire initiative. It's a pretty simple concept. It brings employers and local governments together to support innovative job training programs, providing new pathways for careers in tech. Then it was off to picturesque Salt Lake City, landing in time to catch a beautiful sunset and greet some of Utah's finest. On Friday, the president held a roundtable to discuss the potential of the clean energy economy and the jobs they create. The president then spoke at Hill Air Force Base about the importance of those clean energy jobs in a 21st century economy. On Monday, cute kids, bunny costumes, and even a bat gathered on the South Lawn for the annual Easter Egg Roll, a tradition that dates all the way back to 1878. The president and the first lady both joined in on the fun. Can you guys roar? Oh, I saw you blinking. And they gnashed their terrible teeth. <laughs> That's some good rumpusing. On Tuesday, the president headed to Howard University to participate in a roundtable discussion with the Surgeon General and other medical professionals to discuss the impact that climate change has on the health of our children. The president also sat down for interviews with doctors from NBC, CNN, CBS, and ABC. Part of what I'm trying to communicate here is that there is a cost to inaction. On Wednesday, the president departed Washington, headed to Kingston, Jamaica. When he arrived in Kingston, the president made a quick stop at Bob Marley's house. On Thursday, the president was in Jamaica, where he started his day with the prime minister, after the president met with the 14 leaders of the Caribbean nations that make up CARICOM to discuss their shared commitment to energy security. Later, he held a town hall with young Caribbean leaders. So stay engaged with us online, and remember, you can find out more information about any of these topics and see complete videos of these events at whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out this edition of your West Wing Week. What's going on? How you doing, Brother Huh? Come on, let's get a good one over here. Nobody's ever been faster than Nobody's this guy. Faster. Ever. Of all the billions of people. Hold on a second. Let's get a good one. Wait, wait, should we get a pose here? Yeah, maybe they're Come on, man, show me. Oh, there it is. Wait, wait, I gotta make sure my feet are right. Oh, there you go. <laughs>